So we've got this filthy, scungy scum build up on the top of our aquariums. Where does it come from? How did it get here? And how do we get rid of it? The answer to all of these questions and more are in this video. So as you can see, it looks like a, an oil slick buildup. It's quite horrible. It doesn't smell, but it looks horrible. So you put your finger in it. And you can sort of break it like that. It's not very nice, it's not very pleasant, but this is something that happens to a lot of people's aquariums. We can even blow on it like this. And don't do nothing. Okay, so the cause of this more often than not is not enough water agitation at the top. Um, this could be caused by not enough filtration moving the water around, as we've got here. Um, sometimes it can be caused by, well, basically it's an organic buildup, but basically sometimes it can be caused by uh, dead things. Um, I've got a tank couple tanks over that has got a lot of dead bumblebees in it. I don't know how the bumblebees got in there, but it's also got that film in it as well. Overfeeding can also cause it. Uh, it's just basically a buildup of organic material that's not really doing much. But the best thing about it is it's a really, really simple fix. So I've got a Fluval uh, CP4 sitting here ready to go. It is absolutely overkill for this size aquarium but it's the only one that I can find at the moment, so I'll flick it on and we'll see how easy it is to make it disappear. All right, so we've flicked it on and as you can see, it's already beginning to break up a little bit. So it's got a little bit of extra surface agitation. So if we just turn this up towards it a little bit without setting up some sort of crazy vortex. See the water is now moving. And so it's not very long for it to go away. So if you've got a film on the top of your aquarium, uh, if you've got a spare power head or a wave maker, put that in, that'll help break it up and it'll be gone in no time. If you can adjust your filtration to break up the surface, it'll work as well. Uh, air bubbler with an air stone will do the same thing. What you're doing is what you're trying to achieve is just get all of this moving around and then we dealt with with your filter. So I'll come back in about five to 10 minutes and I reckon this might be uh, close to cleared. So it's I don't know, been about 35 to 40 seconds. All I did was put the wave maker on the other side, put it down a little bit lower. Like I said to you, it's uh, well and truly overkill, but you can see that that has just disappeared. Um, I've taken the sock off the filter so that will get sucked back into the filtration and it'll be disappeared when I clean it out and it'll be gone. So it's really, really simple. I'm gonna go see if I can find a smaller wave maker because this is well and truly overkill. All right, Tim, there's a little tip to help you get rid of that oily, mucky stuff at the top of your aquarium.